Hello everybody, good afternoon. It is half past three live if you're watching us live, if you're watching us on a repeat, uh, well, great to have you with us, whichever way. Uh, I'm Dave and whenever I appear on Carnation Crafts TV, it always means that we've got a launch of something new and exclusive that no one else has. Um, in the future, you'll be able to buy this somewhere else, obviously, but at the moment, we have it exclusively here on our channel. Carnation Crafts TV is what it's all about. Now, um, we had uh, some comments and, and messages on Facebook saying, oh, isn't Carnation available anywhere else? No, still there and this is their own channel which was set up about six months ago so it's lovely to be able to just to bring you carnation and nothing but carnation for a whole hour and it is a very special collection we've got today thanks to all of you that have already ordered it i know hundreds of you already have maybe by now it's even in the thousands um, when you order from carnation crafts direct you will be amazed a at what you're getting for the price and b how quickly it arrives because as soon as you place your order on our website the pickers pick it from the warehouse, pack it straight away, and it's dispatched virtually on the, well, virtually that moment. So you should get your package with all these wonderful, glorious dyes and so on uh, in the next day or two at the maximum. So that's what so many of you comment about. The customer service of Carnation is exquisite. Now this collection, if you, and over the years I've met many of you, and, and the one comment that's probably the most common comment that I get from people is we struggle with making cards for maybe teenagers or for gentlemen, the kind of masculine cards. You don't you know, worry about the, the, the other ones for perhaps the ladies and your girlfriends and that sort of thing, but for guys, it's sometimes a little bit trickier. Well, this is not just exclusively for guys. This collection is for, for ladies as well, but it's got undoubtedly a little bit of a masculine edge to it as well. The star of the show for me has to be the top tier here. These three collections of dies. Now, when you're looking at the packaging, you might not think, ooh, you might think, well, what is that? This one, to start off with here, is the most incredible lion. Now, let me find you the lion here. I've got lots of finished cards from the design team, and they've all done fantastic jobs with these. Let me show you this line. This is the card that Carla did in the second show. I've done it again, wrong side. 25 <laughs> years, and I still can't get the sides right. What am I like? There we go, there is your lion. And you've got that beautiful, uh, very geometric background to it, of course, as well. And uh, Carla will go through the boards in a second to show you what the dies can do and how you can use them. My favorite, the stag is always my favorite. I love, I love a good stag. Look at this image here. The one in the middle is always the easiest one to get right. There we go. So that, the vignettes, by the way, the artwork, loads of you have printed them off this afternoon. They're there on the website, carnationcrafts.co.uk, to print off now free of charge. And you can have uh, a monochrome or you can have even uh, like a, a, a different colored deer. So there's two colors to choose from, absolutely free, single-sided vignettes and, or vignettes even, uh, vignettes, that's an ice cream. It's what? Ice cream. What is? I called it a vignette. It's a vignette. It's like a... A difference between a vignette and an Annette. Yes, it is. Yeah, <laughs> they're vignettes, not vignettes. Uh, so that's your stag. And then the last one over here on my left is the beautiful lion, which we've got here as well. Uh, a real kind of picture of pride. Have I done that one twice? Yeah. You need the owl. That's right. <laughs> I did the owl, so yeah, I've done. There we are. I'm getting out of order. So there's your wonderful lion. It's a superhero as well that you can see there because you get down the bottom, you've got all of those dies, you've got the watch, which most guys that I know love their watches. You've got the skate superhero. We've all got a superhero that we know or in our family. Then you've got the really useful thistle and ferns, which I know lots of you have uh, loved, especially north of the border. Lots of you commenting that you love that for that reason. Then we've got the little mouse, which has become a little bit of a star, a running theme through Carnation Collections, perched on those books. And finally, We've got the cheese and wine do with a lovely steak, a bit of, uh, bit of stilt in there as well, and a lovely bottle of red. All of that will work together beautifully, beautifully well. Now, if you want any of them individually, if you're thinking, oh, I can't run to 109.99, well, first things first, it's not 109.99 for you today, because if you use this code, right side, CCWC10, <laughs> that's the code, CCWC10, put that in the promo box. It's always so satisfying. We actually have a code to put in the promo code box. You'll find that the cost comes down from 109.99 to just 98 pounds and 99 pence for all those dies. And you can print off the artwork from carnationcrafts.co.uk right now and enjoy it this afternoon. Um, it is also on the PayPal Pay in 3, and it's also on Clear Pay with up to four interest-free payments as well if you want to spread the cost. Or if you just want to cherry pick one or two and make your own bundle up, you can do that right now on the website as well. Now it's free PMP. 
Now that is the case whenever you buy anything from Carnation Crafts TV, if you're spending over 50 pounds, you will not get charged postage in the UK. If you're in the US, it's slightly different, obviously, because there's a lot of postage involved to get it over to the US. It's 4.95 if you buy the collection, which I think is amazing. And if you buy maybe the perfect papers or the pro papers uh, in bundles, that's 14.95 shipping and handling for you in the US. But otherwise in the UK, it's free shipping and handling in PMP if you buy the collection and you buy the perfect papers as well. And you can use that code on anything related to the With Compliments collection, okay? CCWC10, that's not across everything, but it's just for that collection or anything related to it. Um, and I'll show you quickly some finished cards. I've done a few already, and then we'll crack on with some demonstrations. Um, look at this one here. Isn't this great? And you might think to yourself, why do I need double-sided vignettes? Well, if you've got a card like this that Pam Simpson's done, it's visible from both the front and the back. So you don't wanna have unsightly you know, plain white at the back. So you've got a left and a right, or a back and a front, whichever the way you want to look at it. Um, another one here with, I showed you the stag earlier on, I showed you the lion too. This is another one with the beautiful owl, the wise owl. Look at how the feathers just flow. You've got that wonderful kind of swirling uh, definition going down the side of the card. Really, really lovely. And of course, all of these backgrounds, are so useful. That doesn't have to be plumage, it could be, it could be uh, tail feathers of a peacock, it could be a stained glass window, cut it out twice, you've got a complete circle doily. So absolutely superb. 221001, that's the product number. 221001, this is the last live show today. These are available to watch back on YouTube or indeed on Facebook at any time you wish after they've gone out. And I know, you know a lot of you are tied up during the day, can't watch them until maybe the evening or the following day. They will be there for you to look at. Uh, so you're not gonna run the risk of missing out, that's for sure. And if you want perfect papers, quickly, I'll just grab one at random here, a card at random. Perfect papers, to my mind, are an absolute must if you're going for the main collection because the vignettes are coloured. So you want your background card and your mats and your layers to kind of coordinate colour-wise. As you can see, just holding that there, showing you all the wonderful 300 GSM sheets you're going to get. 48 of them for $14.99, and that won't be $2.95 PMP if you're buying the main collection, okay? So that's 221012 if you want your perfect papers. And it's a colour, it's a I must, isn't it? But your perfect papers. Yeah. It's the perfect partner to everything that you're crafting, so it means that nothing's going to clash, your colour theory is taken care of, everything blends with the vignettes that you've got for the artwork, so it means all your cards are going to be absolutely stunning. Just like to say a big thank you to Dave for filling to him for me because I stood on the back of my slipper, it came off and I destroyed the set. Well, and you. I still can't find my poke tool. Thank you for filling in with me in the second show. <laughs> I did fill for you in the set, you like did. a professional. Like a pro. Um, <laughs> Suzanne Page, hello Suzanne. Hi Carla and Dave and Miss Taz from a lovely Bogner region. It's been crafting between your shows today. Oh, we haven't been crafting between shows, we've been drinking and eating and... Not the good stuff though, Not just good a stuff. cup of tea, exactly. you understand. Yvonne Hodge is there, good afternoon on Facebook. Hi Yvonne, uh, Karen Vincent, good afternoon there. Dave. Dave, Carla and Miss Taz, Tam, uh, Tammy Shannon, hello, good afternoon to you as well. Get in touch with us on Facebook if you'd like to, that's the easiest way so that we can get your messages. Right, my dear, boards. I will do the boards. Can I just say that it is a well-known fact that slippers are the biggest household accident in the whole of the UK and I now know why. And your testimony to that say. fact. So the boards, we have got these amazing card shapes. They are absolutely, okay, Miss Taz, good Lord. She's that saying you're wonky. Bit. That was hurting my eyes a little bit. Mm. So we've got this gorgeous stag here and we are going to demo this first today so you will see it because we've done the owl today and we've also done the lion so I want to show you the stag as he forms and as he comes together. We're going to talk about these again just for those of you who are joining us for the first time. These are very unusual dies. They're done in a certain way and it's a cleverest piece of engineering. So you've got these strips that come down here. You can see there is a split in the corner so the dies don't uh, sort of attach, they're separate. So when you get them home, they're not broken, they're meant to be like that. You've got that split down the side. What that means is, regardless of whether you're using the stag or the geometric shape, you can place those dies wherever you want them. Mm -hmm. So if you want your card to start here and end here, you absolutely can. If you want it to end here, you absolutely can. If you want to end it here, you absolutely can. Any space that you want at all, which is incredible because we've suddenly got so much more scope. And then you also get the same for your mats and layers too. So we get to build this picture. We get our card base as long as you want or as big as you want. Then you get your mats and you get your layers. Then you've got the stunning artwork and you've got those gorgeous geometric shapes. Like 
like you said, you don't have to use the stag with that geometric shape. No. They both stand alone completely on their own, but they work together well. They work together well. Now, the other side of that is, and just to point out, that when you go to the Carnation Crafts website to download the vignettes, you go to www.carnationcrafts.co.uk, and there's a banner menu across there, and you go to downloads, and you hit free downloads. And on the right-hand side, there's a little space where you can type in which collection that you want to buy from. Miss Taz will catch me up in a little while. <laughs> so um, you can put in any collection that you want. Where Taz is there, it says it with compliments. So we put that in and it brings up all of these uh, gorgeous vignettes. Here they come, look. Now, Taz, can you just stay there? Don't move. Taz, don't move. This is a really important picture that you're seeing on your screen. So the second one in, Carnation Crafts Edge of Grace vignette. If you look closely at that, you'll see you've got a blue one at the bottom, yeah. a cream one next to it, and the two whites at the top. Yeah. The lion, you've got the yellow, and then you've got the cream, and then you've got the wh whites at the top, one in monochrome, one in colour. And the same goes as we go through. Now, you don't normally have that. Normally, you would never have a vignette that's got a coloured background to it. It would always be a white background, and these work differently. The idea being that once you've cut these out, those backgrounds can be used as your one of your mats and layers. Mm -hmm. So you're mm -hmm. getting the extra there already. And when we look at this die set going back, just to have a look on the overhead here, where we've got your outside die, which is the largest die in the pack, and then you've got on top of that, you've got your next die. So you've got four dies for each one. Normally, you would only have the three, so to speak. I mean, normally, if you went to a website, any company's website, and there was artwork of that quality to print off, you'd expect to pay for it. Oh, yeah, of course you would. Here and you most don't. of them do. Yeah. Just so I can show you this. So you've got your card base, then you've got your mat, then you've got your layer, and then you've got this chap sitting here, as you can see, but he, his vignette, if you can see there's a little edge here, his vignette can come in a colour. Mm -hmm. And that means you can have four, so you can have your card base and then you can have a mat, a layer, another layer and him. It looks incredible. When you build those up into this gorgeous stage, it looks incredible. I'm the most impatient person I know. I want everything when I buy it to be there yesterday. That's why shopping with Carnation is fantastic because when you place your order, it's shipped straight away. And I mean straight away. So barring any delays with the postage, which we obviously don't have any control over, it'll be with you probably tomorrow, or may, if not tomorrow, the next day. But the lovely thing is once you've made that purchase and you think, oh, I've, I've spent that money, but I've got nothing to look at right now. Print all the artwork off it's there for you you can print it off 150 times if you want to um, and you can just sit there and look at the artwork you know kind of scan through it all imagine what you're going to do with it how you're going to use the dies and the dies will be with you in next to no time okay next one's the owl then yeah it is for those of you who bought this yesterday or this morning the likelihood is this will be in your paws by tomorrow they are always sent first class so you should receive them tomorrow or very latest the day after so we've got the beautiful, all that artwork, isn't that mm. amazing? When you start to look at all the detail that they do in all of the cuts. I love the way the feathers flow. Mm, that gorgeous S shape, that beautiful flow that we get around that card. Now these are just such important card shapes. As far as engineering is concerned, as far as cards are concerned, just in the market, on the craft, in the craft industry at the minute, this is something so completely different to anything that we've had before and they're important because we get a different way of crafting. It's important to note as well that we can cut these out separately. I have lost my pokey tool in, in my slipper incident, but you can see you have got these separate elements as well. I can just poke my nail in there. We can shape every single feather out in that owl, which it's, is incredible. Isn't it like the owl's doing the flamenco? It does. It does look like this. <laughs> well, hey. Some cast nets at the top yeah. it would be absolutely corking. And then we have got the lion. So this is the three card shape. So you've got the stag, the owl and the lion. Each one has a different geometric shape on the side. Each one has a different end point to it. Uh, and then you have got, obviously, your elements that go to it. Can I just say Pam saying hello? Can I just say a big, big hello to Pam as well? Because she's one of our DT. Hi, Pam. Um, we've had Lindsay earlier as well. And it's always lovely when the DT say hello because they're such a massive part of the Carnation team. So a big hi to Pam uh, and to you all, of course, but it's lovely when the DT join. So we've got all these finishing edges that you've got here. I love this one. I just love it. And it's evocative, isn't it, of his mane as well. So when you want to say together. that you're proud of someone, what better card to make than with the lion's head with on Philippe it? With Philippe Dorore? Yes. 
Philippe. Oh, forgot to Google that name. I was going to look it up, see if he actually existed. Philippe de Raw. Philippe de Raw should exist. He should be a book. <laughs> uh, but there you go. You have got this beautiful, beautiful lion there. And it's so pretty. It's so lovely. That, I think, is just one of the most incredible pieces of artwork, just simply in where that cut line is. This is what I love about Carnation. That cut line that you see there, doesn't that finish his cheek off completely? It allows that point of difference between his nose, his snout, and that cheek. And it's a cut line within the die. That is not a line drawing, that is a cut line. So it means you can shape him just beautifully. We move on to the carnation mouse. We always like the little carnation pieces because they're just very lovely. And he's sitting here on these rickety box. Again, this will be another one demonstrated, hopefully in the show. He's That's really snippable flask. as well though, isn't it? Oh, totally. So he's got his little flask sitting there, which I love. And I think there's a little tin under his bottom as well. You've got the candle. Remember, different elements. Cut that candle away. It can be used with different die sets. Uh, and then you've got the books. And again, snip the mouse away. If you snip about there, you've got a different section of books for a different character to sit on or for a different piece. So for something like Comfort of Home, which we've been using recently for that magic fireplace, Imagine if you've got the magic fireplace, the armchair from comfort of home, and at the other side of the fireplace, a little stack of books. Just gorgeous can I all pop coming that together. In? I've just found this one. Look at that. So that's there just basically go. one die, but cut out a few times and then snipped. Absolute chaos. Two little mice. Yeah. One with their, uh, with their cheese as well. Cheese. Isn't that gorgeous? And perfect sentiment. You are so clever with all the books. It's lovely. Anyone who's going to university or who's just passed their GCSEs, passed their A-levels, great selection for those to have as well because it's just that little reminder, isn't it, of that, that kind of finishing ceremony that we have. Possibly my favourite board, mainly because I want to eat everything that's on it except for that. Yeah, I'm not a fan. No. I'm not a fan. I don't think I've ever actually tried it. I think I'm just put off by the blue bits. Right, we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous one. I love that wine bottle so much. I love the way the light hits. I love the way the fact that where they've done the artwork for that, because the light stream is coming in from this side and we can see where that is, we can work on that with other dyes that we've got as well I'm to just, look for that shine. Just thinking as well, if you're looking at the artwork thinking, oh, well, oh, I feel as if I'm cheating a little bit using it. Don't feel like that at all. If you wanted to color that wine bottle in yourself, cut it out in white, and then use the vignettes as a colouring guide. Absolutely. There's no, you know, there's no one way of crafting, is no. there? We are all kind of unique in our own way that we do things. But what I love about Carnation is the fact that they are evolving in such an incredibly enticing way as crafters that we get to do these things that we wouldn't do with other companies because we wouldn't have the scope to do it. So I love that. So we've got your extra cork there. We've got your bread. Or it could be cheese. I think that's, I think that's a camembert. Is it camembert? I think so, yeah. I thought it was Brie. bread Brie. with a mouth. I don't know the different cheeses. I thought it was bread with a little mouth. It can be anything you want it to be. We've got your slab, you've got your steak, and you've got your extra piece of holy cheese. We like holy cheese. Uh, so you've got all the elements that you build up there to create that full scene. It's a very full packed scene and it's brilliant for all of those kind of Valentine's cards. All of those things for those males. Now, this you can use in so many ways. Look at the colourways of the artwork as well. Absolutely really kind of wintry. Right. And, yeah. and if you've got a little bit of a Scottish bent, this is perfect for that, of course. You've got the thistle, you've got the ferns, you've got the feathers, you've got the beautiful pins and that rope as well. All coming together, all for different things. We looked in the last show about snipping into those ferns to create fuller uh, kind of foliage pieces as well. If you don't want them to be so elongated, cut them in two and use the two together because it creates more bulk and sometimes that bulk is very appealing. Now we mentioned it in the second show that if you wanted to cut those wonderful kind of um, long, long kind of leaf ferns fronds. there, the fronds, that's it, that's the word I was trying to find, you could easily cut those out numerous times, make a fantastic winter wreath for a table, for a, a door, uh, that would look fantastic. It'd take a bit of time to do it, but you've got the dies there to actually achieve that, so it's not just a one trick pony. Well, the Roman helmets where they've got those in, you know what I mean. Hmm. The oh, Roman... the, um, oh, the Caesar. Mm. Hell Caesar. I yeah. know what I mean. My brain what are they called? There. There's They've a got name. a name, haven't they? Somebody at home's going to know before we do because they're really good. What do the Romans wear on their heads? <laughs> laurel leaves? Laurel. Laurel? Is it That's a not, laurel? Something like that. Ta <laughs> message us. Me. Message us and tell us. <clears throat> it's third show. We're going I think Miss Taz is on the internet doing a search. The last show always becomes a little bit off kilter because I think by this time we are all crackers. Um, <laughs> so you've got your gorgeous watches here, the gold and the silver, and the links in this allow you to bend that watch over 
If we don't get time to demonstrate this today, I'm hoping we will, but if we don't, then it will be demonstrated hopefully tomorrow or the day after. Please do keep watching. And remember, because we're on YouTube, you can re-watch these anytime you want, and it's always there for you to go back and refer to. And tomorrow, by the way, if you've missed any of our shows, uh, there's a live show at 10 a.m. That's with yourself and Claire. It is indeed. Looking forward to watching that. And then this says, enjoy every second. That's your gorgeous sentiments that go with this watch, and you can use those as a lovely sort of combination piece in your cards for retirement, anything like that. Really, really, I love it for retirement and I love the sentiment for retirement, but enjoy every second. There's something about that sentiment because we all need to be reminded, don't we, sometimes when life can get quite difficult, it's nice to be reminded. Enjoy every second. And put, your, it. put your glossy highlights and accents on there as well. Make it look like glass if you want to. It look fantastic, really well. Really beautiful, I love those watches. Superhero. And we've got a superhero and he's lovely, isn't he? Um, I love the way he's drawn. I love the effect for it. I love the fact that he's got that gorgeous cape with the little sort of hood at the back. I just think he is absolutely stunning. And I like the fact they gave us two colorways automatically that we didn't have to wait for other colorways to come out for him. But also he's not like a cartoon character. He could be dad, yeah. he could yeah. be uncle, he could be brother, you know? It's just really well done, isn't it? And again, you've got that light source coming in so we know where the light source is so everything is working because we've got the highlights in certain areas it helps us as we're moving forward with our crafting especially when we can see that light source because it makes a difference to the way the visual effect of the card goes forward so you're our hero you're my hero incredibly important sentiments that we can use for such a long time going forward even if it's not for a male card, if you don't use the superhero, the sentiment will come in as a difference. For a female card, you're my hero. Why not? Well, we did get asked in the second show whether we could do maybe a version for ladies like Supergirl or whatever. So we're going to put that to the team and see what they can come up with. But we've taken that on board. And that's always the case with Carnation. They want to hear from you. Message in, message on maybe our Facebook stream or something like that. The guys in the office watch them and see them and see the comments, whether you love something, whether you want to see something else. Uh, and very often they will take that on board and develop it. So uh, yeah, keep your suggestions coming in. Now, something else that we've not actually talked about just yet, but would look really, really good with the main collection, but they're standalone too. This is um, a sentiment selection like no other. This is amazing. You've got the wonderful swirly font at the top. Thank you for being so, fill in the blank. Uh, you make me so, or you make me feel so, Brand and new. you are so. And then you can also put charming, kind, great. They're all dyes, and you've got mats and layers on each of those words as well. But also you've got a panel there, which allows you to actually fill in what you want to say. If you've got a good handwriting or skill yeah. or whatever. Well, a lot of the sentiments that you're seeing there will actually fit onto that little panel as well. Some of them will be too long, but others not so much. But remember with every single word that you get, and I'll go through it on the board, each one comes with a mat and layer anyway, so you could lay it on the top. Which one? which word suits the next card that you're gonna make. You'll have all of these to choose from. They're called the complimentary words. Now they're not included in the main collection, but it is available as a separate item. If you're going for the main collection and you fancy this in your basket as well, there'll be no PMP charge. If you buy it on its own, because it's under 50 pounds, there will be 295 postage. But uh, I, I know lots of you have gone for this today. You can see how many dies you get there. Uh, 221011, it's a refreshing change because we've all got the, you know, yours, um, you know, best wishes and all the standard verses. Uh, probably many times over in our collections but these are a little bit different very carnation a bit more quirky and they say what you want to say so well in a really lovely bold way so that is 221011 your item number if you fancy getting those today if that's all you want that's fine and again remember the main collection that we've gone through on the boards um, they're all available as individual items as well everybody's budget is different we're very very well aware of that uh, and there we go so if you fancy those they're in stock as well don't forget though we are here for this is our last live show today there is one more live show tomorrow uh, that is at 10 a.m with carla and claire and another one the day after Aye. Thursday. Are you waiting for me to tell you the time? I yeah, missed his tab. Nine. Nine a.m. So 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and then 9 a.m. on Thursday morning if you want to see more live shows of this collection. But remember, they are available to watch back on YouTube and on Facebook whenever you choose. Are they also available to be watched back on carnation.co.uk? Carnationcast.co.uk? Uh, I don't. Certainly think on Facebook so. and YouTube. But, I don't know. Yeah. I am too hopeless to be answering your questions right now. <laughs>
But if you can't find them on carnationcraft.co.uk, you will find them on Facebook and YouTube. But all the products are there on the website right now for you. Pop them in your basket, check out, and don't forget your vignettes. Print them off now uh, on whatever you like, whatever cardstock or paper you've got at home, and the dies will cut them out for you in the next couple of days when they arrive. My slipper incident made my pokey tool abandon me, and I can't find it. Hang on. Very discombobulated. So I'll use this one that's got a brush on the end, in case any of you are wondering what I'm doing. So we're going for our normal card base it's here. It's gone. It's gone. It's yeah. gone for a Burton. I swear down, it's just gone not down the crack in the thing, I think. I mean, I did create quite the crash. Not unusual for me, I will say. We're just going to shuffle these two together. Keep that towards your body, as you all know. Push it against something and just smooth it forward for your tent base so it's all ready for you to go. When we're doing this, this is a really daft comment, but I'm going to say it because I know there's a lot of new card makers with us and it sounds like a ridiculous thing to say. It seems obvious to all of those who have been making cards for a long time, but for those of us who were brand new, I was brand new when I started with Carnation. When we're creating these, as a rule, and not always, but as a rule, that where we have done the score line will sit at the back of your card yeah. so it's not seen. Even if you score it lower down and your mats and layers would cover it at the front, what will happen is you'll create a triangle, triangular point where the mat sits flat and that kind of bends where that score line is. Right. So just as a rule, sometimes it's different if you're doing side panel cards, it can change, but as a rule, that score's going to stay at the back. I mean, also, Colour, you made a really good point there that, that a lot of people who've been watching you for a while on Carnation probably thought you'd been making cards for years, but you weren't <laughs> a card maker no. when you joined Carnation. So I that should give you inspiration because yeah. you can see what Carla makes with these dice, amazing cards. And she's not always been doing it. So I've got a very different, um, my, my journey in craft is a very different journey in craft. And I come to uh, craft as a quiller and a paper cutter and a paper sculptor and a paper artist as gen a general rule, not a card maker. So I had a very different journey into this. And when Carnation first said to me about uh, joining their team, I originally said no. I didn't say no, I said I didn't think they would want me because... What? Yeah, I just said, look, I don't know that I'm the right fit for you guys because I'm not a card maker. I don't know how to make a card. And they said, well, we'll send you some dies, cut them, and... Um, and and see what you come up with. And I said, that was great, but I don't have a die cutting machine. That's how <laughs> brand new I was. And so bless them, they had to send me a, a die cutting machine. So, and I didn't know how to use it. And um, and this was now just over two years ago, nearly Only three two years, years ago? Yeah. Wow. Well, Carnation's only three years old. I know, that's the, that's the most amazing thing, because I've worked with Carnation on TV now for what seems like forever. Um, they always seem to have been there, but no, they are a really young company. But they are way and above, it, to my mind, the best as far as customer services goes, and the product development is second to none. Isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. and I think they're dominating the market because they are they're so advanced to most other companies as far as the engineering of dyes goes. So something like this is a classic example, which is why I paused. So where we've got this so far, you've seen us do a very elongated card. You've seen me use it as an over the edge card, and you've seen me use just one panel of it. And again, now we go midway, so we've got that beautiful and that tone on tone for the most perfect papers has got to be one of the most beautiful tone on tones mm. that they've ever produced that light blue against that darker blue is just incredible and those shapes doesn't that look very kind of computery sort of um it it does it's got that kind of graphic yeah. hasn't it it's it's something about it and i think that's what's so incredible about these because when we take a geometric shape because a geometric shape is so defined um, and then we add it to something that is just so incredibly beautiful the two just go for yeah. some reason, they're so they're so opposing that they go beautifully. It's sometimes if you put two colours together that clash, and you put them together, they will make the best friends. There's something like there's pink a and orange. Yeah, there's a weird rule with certain colours that you would never match because they clash, mm. but they match beautifully, uh, which sounds like you know a dichotomy essentially, and it is. And this is the same thing: putting something very rigid against something that is so natural in form actually works. But again, when as I was saying to you earlier, I'm losing him. The, t the blue tones within him are taking, it, it's seeping my colour away, mm -hmm. stealing my colour, and I want to bring that colour back. So the reason I use white panels on these, and the reason I cut my panels to the size that I have, in case any of you are interested at home, is actually for a very specific reason. 
what I'm doing is trying to get as near to this edge as I can with the white panel because I want some of that stag to sit on the white and some of it to sit on the blue. What I could have done essentially is, is done this again, fussy cut it and put it further back, but I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I've got that white panel half and half because it adds a massive amount of drama to it. So if I place this. So is that uh, pro paper that you've used there, the white? This is my 350. Um, it's just my standard 350 card from Carnation, which is my go-to. Um, I had to do a show the other day and I had to make a card and it was on two, 200 GSM and it, it felt so weird. Usually 350 mm. GSM, so guys. You won't get the white in the perfect papers today. It's all the colours that you can see there on the shelf, but I'm sure the white will be on the website if you want to invest, invest in some of that. So. I've got this beautiful, heat. and so this is a mirrored vignette for those of you who don't know. So that's the one where we uh, we spray it with the um, tape so it's got a black line down the center, fold it on there, spray in between and pop your dye on top and it comes out with an image on both sides. So I can have him that way or I can have him that way. I get to choose and I get to play. And when we're shaping out, we're always going to look at the shapes. So uh, just as a very quick note, I won't go through the whole thing. I know lots of you have seen me do it before and I want to get another demo in. But where his ear is here, that's the first place I would go when I was shaping him out because I would want that to be shaped very, very much first. So I would take it in with a smaller ball tool and just go through. I would then, if I was doing this at home, take an even smaller ball tool and do his eye. And then I would do his little nose, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm using my tools. Each tool has a different job. So I'm using those tools to produce an effect. And every time that effect changes, then I'll take the rest of the shape of him in. For the edge of him here, I'm just gonna use this size ball tool and I'm gonna change it up. I'm just doing this front line so I get that curvature on here. So it's just curving at the bottom. While you're doing that, um, Susan Green says, absolutely beautiful dies, ordered yesterday, can't wait. Uh, ordered the words this morning, they're on their way, Susan, thank you for that. Yvonne Hodge, a beautiful elephant like the lion would be lovely. Okay, mm, yeah, nice. we'll suggest that. Uh, as others have said, a lady hero, so that's two for the lady heroes, please. We'll see what we can do. Uh, Tammy Shannon says, oh dear, another order just gone in. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I've now changed to my bigger ball tool and I'm going into my second line, if you like. So I've done the outside pane. Think of it in stages. I'm doing my second stage and I'm keeping with the larger ball tool now into my third stage, which just brings us through. And then my final stage is one line down the center and that's just to create that full dome. And that makes his body sit proud and sit forward. So when you see him, I don't know how well we can see him really, but you can just see that curvature that I've created. Yeah. Now, again, same thing as always, his head, if I leave him like that, it's a bit odd. Now, it might not look odd on the overhead, but believe me, when we're looking at it, yeah. that looks weird. It's massive. Because tall, it's too, tall. He's, too, he's too pronounced. So what we're gonna do with him is manipulate him. And the first thing we do is take his head and his body between thumb and forefinger, and we're just gonna pull it back. Now, that's the only bend that we need to make because we want to keep, can you see where it's just created that small dent yeah. there? It keeps the bulk of his body, which is one, and the bulk of his head. But we want to create that musculature that we find in the neck so that's all we're doing it's just that one curve through and I'm going to place him at the bottom so his snout goes into that point there and that's all I'm going to do with it look at the drama on that oh it's amazing listen guys right I'm going to put I did this on the last one I'm going to use this and this is going to go at the side of my card now if I do nothing else that is an incredible card it really is and you said before that putting the stag just on the light blue, you were kind of losing it a bit. But having said that, when you put white on top of yeah. white, it doesn't get lost. No. And the thing is about this, like colour's really important. If I just put him on the plain blue, I lose him. Those colours seep back into the blue. When I, when I was saying to you I wanted this line that goes halfway down because I wanted his snout still in there, we get the pop of colour at this side and it draws it through. Mm. So his snout, yes, but I'm not losing his snout because I've got that large black piece at the back. Do you see how we play with colour just to make it that tonal shift. Now I know many of you that have been crafting and have crafted for years start thinking about Christmas well earlier than now. We're into October. Um, but that for me, I don't think about Christmas until round about now. That for me could be the Bradford family Christmas card with that stack. It doesn't say Christmas, but it just kind of it fits. It smacks of Christmas, doesn't it? Of course it does. It's got that beautiful 
piece but, but it's an all year used round all year round mm. is perfect so i'm just going to place him i've got pin flat i want to keep his body high i want that shadow i want to keep that play on on all the different things it's just gorgeous now we're going to bring in all of these elements some of these i've cut already because i want to make a simple card but i want to add drama I'm going to place that to the top and I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to fill in this space. So I'm just taking, I'm stealing some white space. Now, I, if I was going to do this and I was just going to have that there, just for those of you at home, I would have it in the middle. If that's all I'm going to do, if I'm going to add something, I'm going to take it up. OK, so mm -hmm. I'm stealing white space. I'm playing all the time and I'm stealing the space that I'm taking it from. It's just a visual. And obviously it's completely up to you how you craft with it. I'm just explaining my process so that you can steal it if you want to. Tammy's uh, saying she has to go, but a great collection. Uh, Tammy, Tammy, thank Have you for joining us. You can catch up on the next half an hour a bit later if you want to, because it will be on YouTube and it will be on Facebook for a while. So. Right, this thistle. This time I've shaped it out, but I'm going in for more drama this time. I'm pulling all of these little leafy pieces, I'm sure there's a technical name, all the way forward, okay? And that's going to give me that kind of doming effect because this is here, so it draws it forward. I'm going to fill that with pin flare. And I'm putting plenty in. The reason I'm putting plenty in it is because I'm going to steal the pin flare. So I'm just going to place this on here over that stag's body and I'm going to start drawing forward. What okay? do you mean you're going to steal the pin flare? What do you mean? Because I've got pin flare underneath and I'm going to steal it for these. Oh. Because what I don't want to do is seal it. Because I shaped out his body and it's got curvature on it, right. this is sitting proud. So if I sit this forward, you can see, you can see my fern sits proud. Can you see? So it's while not the glue's still the wet, you can use it. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. what I want to do is steal the pin flare. So if I just pull this forward, you can see the stick. You, know, you might not be able to see it on the overhead, but there is my pin flare. If I pull yep. it, you'll be able to see it. And so I'm going to steal that pin flare because um, I don't want to seal these in. And that will stay for a good few hours uh, before it actually dries rock before hard. Before it dries rock <clears> hard. <throat> so I want to make sure this is angled correctly because I need to make sure these are going here. Remember, I'm going to put the sentiment in. So I'm just going to place this one centrally just to about there. Then we start playing. Where is this going to live? I know that I want it to live at the top and I want it to live about there. So I'm going to play. I'm going to move this to where it's not interfering with the word charming. And this is how I comp when I'm at home. This is how I do my composition when I'm preparing for demos. Just to make sure that nothing is taking up the space that I want. I do want to fill this corner. I want that to be empty. I want that white space. And if you were and using foam pads, you wouldn't have that flexibility. So that's why pin flare is so, so useful as a wet glue. It just takes a little bit longer to dry than normal glue would do. But when it does dry, it's rock solid. So great for posting as well. So where we've got this sitting up here, when we make corners on cards, we always do that L shape. I'm reversing it here. So I'm making a corner as such from my white space. So now I can fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. That just makes it easier for me to be able to visualize where do I need to go with the excess pieces. So this I can place centrally, making sure it doesn't hit the charming. I don't want to interfere with the charming. I want to be able to read it. I need to know that it's still got the readability. I'm gonna place these in. If you do need to add glue, that's absolutely fine as well. I'm cutting down those ferns so they're only halves and I can just poke those in, aren't they pretty? This is taking me to the Scottish Highlands now. There you go. Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do with the feathers, the first thing I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm noticing about this is it starts here and it ends here and that's too much for me. I've got too much on the diagonal. He flows and so should this. So I'm gonna place a feather just over his body just to bring in that color without detracting from him. So you see how I'm using the white space and I'm building and then I know I want something here because I've got too much white space in that point. So I'm going to take this forward, push this feather through and leave it right there. And that is a really simple, oh. really easy card to make. But the drama involved in that, yep, I do need to stick that down. Good Lord Dave Bradford, <laughs> you put me off. So. <laughs> So the drama created in this card is achieved so easily. Now, if you don't put the sentiment on, as you can see on the front of the card as it stands right now, and you don't need to put the sentiment on, 
that white space breathes. You don't need to add anything. No. Don't feel like you need to, because for a lot of us, we feel we need to go the other side and bring something diametrically down. So we would put something here. You don't need to. It's fine as it is. White space is absolutely grand. I just like the sentiment in now, white on top. I'm very well aware that not everyone makes cards to sell, either for profit or for charity. Many of you make cards because you love it and they're gonna to go to nearest and dearest. That's fine. But if you are looking to sell them for whatever reason, I can assure you a stag of this quality, of this incredible artwork is going to fly off your stall. If you've got craft fairs coming up in the next month or two or something like that and you're thinking I want to have something that's really going to grab everyone's attention the stag is going to do it. Actually all of these three will do it. The lion for pride, the owl for wisdom but the stag for me is what I'd be drawn to straight away. Yeah I mean I think it's a... listen if I saw this on a stall without you know blowing my own trumpet I would happily buy that. Yeah. I think it's such a beautiful card and I think it's so simple. There is Sometimes taking carnation back to its most simple forms, all we're doing, there's, what have we got? We've got two ferns, two feathers, the thistle and the stag. That's yep. it. Now it may well be that you're thinking, okay, I love that and that's what I want to do, I want to create that. But then all you could do is go for the thistles and the ferns as a separate set of dies. That's available individually on the website and you could go for the edge of grace and you can recreate that card. Uh, go for the perfect papers as well so you're not spending anywhere near hundred pounds at all. And they're all on the website. If you go to www.carnationcraft.co.uk, that's where you'll see them individually. If you want the owl on its own, the lion on its own, you want the stag on its own and the ferns on their own to recreate what Carla's just done, that's what you need to purchase. So there's something for absolutely everybody's budget. And again, if you just wanted some of the smaller die sets down the bottom as well, just remember if you want the superhero, if you want the watch, maybe someone in your family's got, I don't know, a dozen watches, they're, they're, they're watch mad, a watch for every occasion. All of those on the bottom and on the top available individually. And don't forget those sentiments we talked about. If you want these, here they come. Uh, you've got those wonderful, beautiful fancy fonts at the top. Thank you for being so, fill in the blank. Uh, you make me feel so and your, What's that say? You are so, that's right. You are so. <laughs> and then you've got charming, oh, kind, Jeff. great, brilliant, handsome, strong, clumsy. No, that's not there. That's me. <laughs> Generous, smart, talented, mm -hmm. clever, loyal, thoughtful, beautiful. There they are. £44.99, 221011. Uh, and that is available as a separate item if you would like it. You always know when it's getting to the end of the day. Yes, I destroy the set. Do you destroy the set? I start having a meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> well, I work to the end of the day. I mean, usually I'm having a meltdown most of the time anyway. <laughs> right, <clears throat> we're going in for those eight oh. by eights. What I'm trying to do in these demonstrations, and I will continue to do during the week, the biggest point that I'm trying to make throughout most of these demonstrations is that those card shapes can be used in such a massive different set of ways. So I'm gonna try to explore it as much as I can throughout the week so we can look at how they're done so that when you get it home, you're never short of an idea to come back to. And that's my aim, so I hope it helps and I hope you'll get in a good rhythm of where you want to be. So I'm just gonna place this on it here. I love this caramel honey tone. Yeah, I do. So, fingers on, pull. That's gonna give you your alignment. So, again, we've got this, but now instead of cutting it in any color, I have just cut it in white. And I love it in white. I love it so much in white. That is so fresh to me and so pleasing to me. Um, again, I've done this in a 240. So I will say, um, again, entirely up to you. If I do these in anything lower than that, I feel like they just feel flimsy to me. However, if I go and try and do these in a 350, I often find that it takes three or four passes of my machine to actually get it to cut all of those bits. Cut tidy is your best friend, but still. So I tend to go for the 220 just because it's easier. I tell you what, lots of people thumbs up to that last card. Linda Wilson says, quite simply, stunning in a word. Thank you, Linda. Sue Pendethy says, love that stag card, Carla. Thank you, guys. That's I think, very I think kind. that's my favourite card of the day. Is Definitely. that your favourite? Yeah. Thank you. Love it. Um, it's always nice to hear your comments, so I appreciate them massively. Thank you. So I'm just oh, going to stick this on here. <laughs> what was that? I somehow run between sometimes being professional and sometimes just being an idiot, let's face it. <laughs> oh, Miss Taz is raising her eyebrows at the sometimes professional. Okay, 
I sometimes <laughs> run between trying to be professional and just being an idiot. Does that, is that better, Miss Taz? So I've got this lovely, lovely white space and it just sits so, I just love it, it's so pretty, but I want to add more color. So where I've got this, I'm gonna go tone it and just tone on tone onto here, place it in that center and I'm taking it just to about there. It reminds me of shortbread and I think part of the reason that it reminds me of shortbread is because we're playing with Scotland and stags and mm -hmm. it just keeps coming into my head. Now again, same thing, we're too dark. I, I, I know it's personal choice, but it's too dark for me. I'm, I'm losing the image. So again, it's that pop of white. I okay. know I sing the same song all of the time, but it's important to me as a crafter. And if you're going for the perfect papers, remember, you are going to get eight of each of the six colors. So if there's a particular color you like, you get quite a few of them to play with. Look at that. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah. I mean that just on its own. Now, what I'm going to do with him, I, I have got different ways of playing with this. Jan is saying, can't find the stag die. Jan, it is called Edge of Grace. Yes, Edge of Grace is what it's called. And the, um, the lion is Edge of Pride and the owl is Edge of Wisdom, okay? So I hope that helps, Jan. I've got choices. I'm going to cover him up slightly. I can put this on top, which is what I think I'm probably going to do. So he's poking outside the bottom. I could theoretically put some foam tape on that side of him and just let him sit there and hang over the edge. Two options for me there, and both of them are beautiful. Again, you're going to get more shadow play if you do it that way. You would need to raise him with foam tape on his snout and just put red liner tape on this bit so you get that point of difference. Um, so you're, you're always looking for that change. I think I'm just going to tuck him just underneath. I like the little pokey nose. I think that's very sweet and I'm happy to stick with that. So for now, that's what we're going to do. Jan, by the way, the item code, if you want the stag and for anyone else that wants the stag on its own is 221005, okay? 221005 for the stag individually. That's on the website. So you'll notice on this, I've only used pin flare on his snout and down the side of his mane here, and I haven't put anything here. And the reason I'm doing that is not necessarily because I want to tuck anything behind him, because I don't. It's just so that I don't smear my perfect paper with pin flare because it can leave a grease mark. So it's just to avoid that from happening. I'm just going to place him here so that just sits over okay and so we've got that there another one from Mandy Holmes here commenting saying you always make amazing cards Carla but I think the stag was the best I've ever seen oh you guys are gonna make me cry Don't I agree nice Mandy to I totally agree don't be nice to me because those things, they, they make me cry. You, you just carry on telling me I'm an idiot I'm better with that I can place this on top of here so I've got that beautiful color dimension look at that Mm. Look at that play, that white on white, that caramel on caramel. Look at those tones. Now, I could have used the gold lion here and I specifically didn't. I specifically went for monochrome. Why? Because I'm about to use blue. So I need to tone him down Ooh. because otherwise it's going to look like the lion is about to eat the mouse. Have you decoupaged the books? Right. So this is the next part. This is what I wanted to talk to you about with those books. It will look, hopefully, like you've got lots of shadow play there going on with those books. Now I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to try and hold it upright so you can see it on the overhead. What I've done is snipped into some of those books. You can see here there's some foam tape. That's cool. And just in here there's some foam tape. So I've just decoupaged little bits and other sections are flat like this. Doesn't it make a difference? And I've decoupaged the candle up, I've decoupaged that top book and I've left him. My advice, you do you, but my advice is if you're decoupaging these up, leave him flat because he looks like he's further behind the books that are sitting there. So yep. it's just that kind of visual. <laughs> then what I'm going to do, and I actually probably would normally do this with foam tape, but I'm going to do it with pin flare because we are running out of time. So I'm just going to place blobs of this because I want him to sit quite high because I'm not going to be putting much in front of him. And I'll pop a bit on him as well. And then without putting my finger in all of that pin flare, I'm going to try and seat him at the bottom so I've got my ground and device. Seat him at the edge just so he's just hanging slightly over. Look at that shadow. That is great, isn't it? Isn't that just so lovely? Ma Mandy says, I love the little lunchbox under his bum. <laughs> <coughs> He's just ridiculously cute. Now, what I'm going to do is go in with my sentiment here, and it says thoughtful. Now, normally I would take all of the backs off here, but I am very aware that time is ticking, so I will try and get this off. I'll take a few off. Let's have a look. 
And do remember, uh, this is the launch day. I'm always here every month on launch of the new collection, which I love and I'm proud to be here to do it. This is only available through us at the moment, not available anywhere else. It's absolutely exclusive to Carnation, which is always nice to know, and they will post it out to you so quickly. When we're playing with sentiments, um, uh, for me, I've got two choices here. I can have it this way, which is the way that my brain will automatically place it. I will want it to be read down, but we can read it up as well. So you're going to decide, obviously, which way you like it. I don't know why my brain goes from top to bottom, but it, it, my Mine brain does. wants to switch it. Mine that's does. just the way it is. To does yours go bottom to top? I oh, think it's strange. Some people read bottom to top, some people read yeah. top to bottom. I think it's the same as that dress where some people see it pink and some people, whatever it is, you know, that weird dress, there was the gold and the blue. Have you seen it on Facebook? It's that same thing. Some people read bottom to top, some people read top to bottom. So you're gonna be able to work that out for yourself as to which you find the most logical for me, top to bottom. What do you think watching at home right now? Do you do bottom to top or do you do top to bottom? That's the right way for me, but the this other way for me might well. be for you. So Taz reads it the other way. Right. So I'm gonna place this right on the edge and I'm gonna place it at the top, I think, or do I want it in the middle? No, I want it at the top. Now the reason I'm going for the top, always do your visual flashes so when you're placing it before you stick it just look am I right am I wrong. So the reason I'm going from the top is because he's going from the bottom. So we've got that movement mm -hmm. that goes okay so that's why I'm doing it from the top. Now if I had have put it the other way round this is where my brain goes I could not have had that at the top it would have had to have come at the bottom. That's just the way my brain mm. goes. Top to bottom, Linda's saying top to bottom. Linda's, so you're yeah. the same as me, Linda, top to bottom. Now, if that had been, I could not, I could not have put the L at the top. I don't know why my brain would not go there. I, that's just not a thing for me. I can't do that. But Taz would have done. Taz would have done. And it's just the, it's just the way we see things. It's the way we play. It's the way we're wired. It is, we are all so very unique. So I've just got two feathers and this is gonna be the most simple finish of something so beautiful. I wonder so the if it's thing, anything to do with left and right handed. Are you left or right handed? I'm a righty. I'm a very dominant right as well. Oh, I know that. <laughs> Just dominant, Very dominant. Dominant right handed, Dave. Don't you be giving me a reputation <laughs> that I don't deserve. Not really. But I, I don't know what it says, but I write right handed, but I eat left handed. Is that weird? You little weirdo. Mm -hmm. I know. I've My always... son is very left handed. Uh, Pam says her brain is bottom to top. Ah, there you go. Isn't it funny? Mm. I We're, think that's quite fascinating. Don't it you? is actually. I think we've got to open a can of worms here. So that last one was done with wet glue. This one is done with pin flare. So we're making the difference between height. Okay, so we're just changing that height out. Now I've got choices here. I can tuck it. Linda says she's a, a lefty and Linda sees it top to bottom. Mm. I'm going to ask my son because he's a lefty. So this one is wet glued and I've got it sitting here. I've still got wiggle room so I can play, but I've got options. I can stick this feather in here so I'm building height as I'm going up and I quite like it. I like that sort of elevation. Or I can place it at the bottom to give me my new L. Do you know what? That feather could also be a quill. Yes, it could. Couldn't it? Writing a book. Could be writing a mm. book. What I'm going to do, you see the little cutout in the feather? I'm going to use it to frame my L, just there. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Just that tiny cutout gives me my little frame for my L. Something so simple, something so sweet, and then that drama. Thoughtful is a really, really good sentiment to use with that lion because that lion has got that kind of very pensive look on his face. Something very wise, isn't there, about lions? So it all adds in together. I love this collection so much. Also, thinking about the background dye that's on there, actually all of them that are in these three collections here today with the stag, uh, the lion and the owl. You could even um, thread ribbon through oh, some of the openings if you wanted to. Just thinking of other ways that you, you could, could use it. You could thread strips of paper through it. So Acetate you, and colour it with alcohol yeah, pens. Absolutely. <laughs> if you have a thin strip of paper, if you use the ones from the uh, eyelet and ring, you would be able to just thread those through and weave those papers mm. through to make different effects. 
ribbon, all the different things. There's so many ways of playing with this collection. It's stunning. Well, another amazing collection. Today is launch day, the 11th. If you're watching this at a different time, I hope there's stock left. All you have to do is go to the website, which is carnationcrafts.co.uk, pop it in your basket. And if you just want one, and some of you have been saying today you just want to buy the stag on its own, some of you wanted to buy just the line on its own, it's entirely up to you. The biggest saving though, where you're saving nearly 50 pounds or over 50 pounds off the price, is to go for 221001. But then the discounts don't end there. The most important thing to let you know about is you're going to get an extra 10% off if you use the code that's on the screen any second. It's D, D, I can't remember. DCC, is it? Oh no, CC. CC, where CC, are you going? CCWC10, there we are. Mr Bradford, stop drinking wine at lunch. <laughs> CCWC10, that, if you put that in the promo code box, will give you 10% off, taking it to 99.89. That's for everything. And don't forget, we've got those extra sentiment dies and we've got the perfect papers in stock as well, that 300 GSM card stock. Thank you for your company today. I look forward to this each and every month. I'll be back next month, but Claire will be here with Carla tomorrow at 10 a.m. for more from this collection. Enjoy it when it arrives I'll be with you very, very soon. Tara.